Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be just kind of like a weekly vlog, but not really because it's actually Saturday. And we all know my videos go up on a Tuesday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there's gonna be little bits of each day in this vlog. I started it a bit late. I was gonna start it this morning. It's actually three o'clock in the afternoon, but I actually woke up feeling so ill. So I started feeling quite ill last night. Just, you know, migraine. I was so tired. Like I don't think I've ever been that tired like, in my life. Like it was like 6 p.m. and I could have just gone to sleep there and then. So I went to at nine woke up at half past nine in the morning so 12 and a half hours sleep woke up feeling 10 times worse a throbbing headache but i planned this morning to go out with a girl i met at an event which i'll go into but i was like i don't know what's going on like my mum was like are you on i was like no but i think i didn't actually know what the date was like don't get me wrong i'm quite regular i'm a regular girl i don't think i realized what the date was so i was like absolutely not so i woke up and thought i'm not not gonna go today because I'm just gonna feel ill in my bed. So I feel like fresh air will do me some good. We went into Leeds and we went to a cafe called Sonda. Very aesthetic, so aesthetic. Got the nicest pistachio with croissant and a matcha. And it was honestly unreal, would definitely go back. But I didn't realize that you had to book to sit inside, that you actually had to book, which is crazy because it's not like it's a, it just does pastries and coffee. And I've never known really a place where you have to book to go get a drink but yeah unreal it was so nice started to feel a little bit better went to the toilet i'm on my period so everything makes sense the tiredness the headache however i didn't take you along this morning that was the reason why i didn't feel well and wasn't in the mood to vlog because i just felt not the best but i feel all right now it's so nice to meet someone on social media that's actually from the same city as you so it's just so easy to meet up and it was just yeah so nice. Anyway, I want to show you the progress that I've made in my room. So I said, because I'm coming back for like summer holiday after uni about June, start of June time, and I've got a month back at uni, I thought, let's start kind of getting my room to where I want it to be so that I'm happy to be here all summer. Based on the fact that like, not an introvert, I wouldn't even say I'm an introvert, I would just say I like, like, I don't really go out that much. I like going out through the day, but I love being in bed by 8 p.m. So I spend a lot of time in my room. So I thought, let's kind of, get it to a place where I'm, I'm happy with it. So I got some new bedding and I'm just gonna show you what I've done. It's very simple. I'm kind of going for a simple, neutral, white and gold aesthetic. To start off, I got this bedding from Asda. It's like a textured white bedding. It's a little bit more on the expensive side for Asda. I mean, it was about 30 pounds, but so worth it. Then on my side table, I just changed a few bits around and put my mirror there. I got this candle from Asda as well and it was really cute. I mean, I kind of got it as like a decoration more than like actually going to use it as a candle. I then want to get rid of these wires here because they're so ugly. They just need to go. However, obviously I can't get rid of the wires. So I just need to hide them. So I actually bought, bought this from Screwfix and it doesn't actually fit. I need to get a bigger one. So we need to take that back and then I'm going to hide the wires with that so it reaches that plug there. And look at this chair. Right guys, I'm not going to lie. I ordered it offline. It was £35, £37. I know maybe I was being naive getting it thinking it was going to be a bit bigger but I got it and I was like oh it's a little bit small it is a little bit small but it means I can sit comfortably without whacking my knees on the desk straw so I do like it it does fit the vibe I was going for just a little bit smaller than expected plus if you look at my walls and think what the hell is that I basically had like cracks I've got loads of cracks on my wall I need to take that out and like it just needs repainting like my whole room needs repainting I didn't actually end up repainting it when I went over that so that's why that's been there for a while it's really annoying but this summer is gonna get sorted out let me just show you what i mean by like like do you know what i mean it's quite small however it means i can cross my legs i can sit without absolutely whacking my legs up here i mean it does fit it's just a little bit minuscule however i'm learning to love it i when i first got it i literally was like this is gonna have to get sent back because it's way too small but when i put it underneath look at that I can walk past, it's very spacious. And would you actually believe I constructed that by myself? All by myself, no one helped me. I never do stuff like that. I'm like, Harrison, Dad, you take, you do that. I've got a couple of new bits recently, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So Amazon, I got this for £10. So basically, my other tripod gave way. I still have it because you can still make it work. But for someone that is using it all day, every day, and I want to work on my social media so much this summer, I cannot wait to just put out more and more content. 
that's a whole other story i might speak about that tomorrow i needed a new tripod and my other one's quite like a a broad one this is actually technically a selfie stick as well but i'm not obviously going to use it as a selfie stick so you roll it out like that and then you just lift it up so it's you know like a single a single stick so it'll just sit like this you open these up it fits my phone and i've got a big phone so luckily it fits it in a bit flimsy as you can see like i'll put my phone in it'll be like not very sturdy but for 10 pounds off amazon not bad at all i was gonna send it back because i thought it's not what i want i should spend a little bit more money on one which i will in the future like 100 percent. however i thought look how compact it is when i go on holiday it means i can take a tripod which does work do you know what i mean a little bit flimsy does do the job i'll pop the link in the description if i remember if i don't just comment and i'll find it but when i was in town with jess we just went to we went to zara because i'm off to copenhagen next week so i actually needed a top didn't actually end up getting one because it was saturday midday everyone and the nans were there we went to space nk L love space nk obsessed i ran out of my bioma spf so i had to repurchase another one if i recommended any skincare product it's this favorite spf ever i'm not gonna lie all i've done is wipe my makeup off it's a few hours later i actually have done i had to finish like and do a voiceover for a upcoming brand that i'm working with and send that off to them for approval. So I've done that. I had the shock of my life. So I've just been on my phone and obviously I work for a couple of different ambulance companies and <laughs> I, I'm not even joking. I don't know how to work WhatsApp. Something came up and it was like a countdown to send like a photo of me, like a live photo. And I'm just like looking over the camera like I nearly sent that into a group of like 300 people, not even joking. And I, my heart is like piss pattering because I'm so relieved and it didn't go. But I was so scared that I nearly just sent. Like, I don't know what I've done actually. Nearly eight o'clock since then. I've done one page pharmacology revision. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't actually finished the question I'm doing, but I've got a pharmacology exam in three weeks. So I've done this. And technically, it's a bit like my EMP and my pathophysiology that I did last year. However, it's majority like long answer questions. Like the ones I did last year were majority multiple choice, and then you had like a couple of long ones at the end. This one is purely, it's out of 100. 75 marks of that is long answer questions, which is terrifying. So yeah, I've done a page. I'm going to carry on. Just wash my face. Um, going to do my nighttime skincare and then get in some pyjamas. So first off, I use Bioma, well, Bioma Brightening Toner. This is normally the one I use at night. Obviously, it's nighttime now, but I have been using it morning and night since I've been in Ludes because I don't bring my Glow Recipe one back because it leaks. So I just keep that one there. Okay, next up, I'm using my Paula's Choice exfoliant lotion i actually love this so i got it when i went to london been using it every day and i actually love it i prefer this because i think i have like the liquid version but as i said do not enjoy putting like really really liquid toners on my face so i thought i'd get like the cream version and it's so much better it's almost like a gel and then next i'm going to use a coats hydrating toning milk this is kind of like a mixture of like the road one i don't have the road one but it's kind of the same consistency and it's got hyaluronic acid in so i'll either use this or my ordinary hyaluronic acid but as i said i only brought certain products back from nottingham so this is what i've been using this week but i actually do really like this and this brand kindly sent this to me and not for any promotion or anything like that but i actually generally really like it well i've used it consistently for the past i don't know two months three months and i really like it and it lasts a while as well then next i'm going to use a glow recipe watermelon spray you know what i used to not like this not that i hated it i just felt like it did nothing not that i think that it just loads now however i feel like i'm actually enjoying using it a little bit more but at the start not too sure i do prefer the toner and i really want to try the dew drops but this i don't know and then i always use this at night so it's the laneige lip mask i really want a vanilla one but i just don't see a point in me getting it yet because i got this ages ago and i still have so much left this is the berry flavor like i've had it for absolutely months maybe even a year i can't remember when i got it so i'm very much like worth the money so that's my nighttime skincare and i'm gonna go make food because i'm absolutely starving and i think it's about eight o'clock now hi guys it's actually the next day it's sunday i've woke up put some tan on my face but it's like gradual it's raining as you can hear i've got one of them like windows where you can hear the rain and i love it at night but when i'm trying to get content 
it's not it i'm gonna do a little bit of a sunday reset so i have got a shower i've packed for going back to uni tomorrow i actually think this is the worst vlog i've ever done in my actual life like i'm not even joking like i haven't really done anything and i've just yabbered at the camera for hours on end but i've packed my one suitcase i need to go put a wash off that's the clothes i'm wearing for tomorrow gonna pack that in the morning because i'm obviously gonna use all that i need to wipe all my sideboards because they get dusty so quickly i'm gonna wipe that sideboard i might wipe my windows actually because my windows have not been wiped in ages but the weather cannot make its mind up i'm obviously gonna wipe over there as well i'm gonna leave my bedding on till the morning and then i'll take it off i haven't worn these in ages but these are my boohoo pajama bottoms absolutely love them so comfy um and then this top from h&m i got it in like a duo set for my birthday i had a few people asking when i was back as well so i finished well officially i finish on like the 14th of june however i have my well in may i've got an oski on the 3rd of may i've got an oski on the 13th of may i've got my pharmacology exam on the 20th of may then i've got two weeks of placement and after that two weeks of placement that finishes first to second of june I'm pretty much finished however i've got one more essay which is due on the 14th of june however i can just come home for that like there's no need for me to be at uni right guys my room is looking spotless however under my bed is under my bed is like where everything just gets chucked so i thought we could clean it under my bed together i'm gonna show you what we're dealing with like we bought this bed less than a year ago and within a few months the stuff under here is just not right so let's tidy this up okay harrison tell them what we're doing right now <laughs> um hi um <laughs> today we're tidying up underneath the bed when we love tidying under the bed harrison's found a whole box of lindors we've got a couples game that was actually kind of tidy some clothes my teddies which i need to put somewhere my perfumes but i don't really use these so i think i might just give them to my mom guys look at this i've got my box of all my stuff in my ud and then everything else is clean hoover underneath there's literally nothing else except those and stop mission accomplished i'm actually feeling like i've done a lot today apart from my uni work hi guys so it's now monday morning and i'm quickly getting ready because i need to set off back to uni so i'm going to show you my makeup routine as i've been asked a few times and i feel like i show it but then i feel like maybe i don't because i get asked don't mind this line it's absolutely atrocious i've tried to screw it off i don't know what it is when you put tanning drops on if i blend it down my neck i end up just getting a line here and if i don't i end up getting a line here first off i use this kiko primer it's got spf 10 in as you can see it's not like white it's like a nice skin color next up i use the refi primer not sure how i feel about this yet i haven't used it too many times I then use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Love this. I don't use any other foundation, if I'm honest. I don't really like many, but I want to try find like almost like a tinted moisturiser. This is my favourite concealer. It's a Born This Way concealer. It's a little bit darker than I'd like for my under eye. However, not the biggest fan of this. Like, this is my lighter one. But recently, it's just been doing cakey on me. And I'm not being a fan, so I don't want to put that under my eyes. But I might just put some here. And then, quickly, before I set, I'll pop the Pink Asthma by Charlotte Tilbury. This is really been through the battles. Like, I need to get a new one so badly. I then use my trusty Rimmel Stay Matte to do all my setting. I do want to get the Laura Mercier powder. I then use my Nick matte bronzer little bit orange not gonna lie but my hula i just don't really like rave about it anymore like i feel like i just don't reach for it i then use the got to be glued to do my eyebrows i then use a little brush like this to do my wing using semi sweet out of a two faced chocolate bar don't mind me there's another plane going over my house I'll then cut my eyelashes and then use the two faced better than sex like some people don't like this but i absolutely love it I then use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Absolutely love this. It's like my natural pink lip liner. I love it. Okay, I'm not really in the mood for lip gloss because I'm not going for like full glam. However, I kind of mix and match. So I'll either use a glossier lip balm and then 
today i'm gonna use the laneige lip mask because it lasts for ages so and it just blends all the lip liner together i am gonna end the video here otherwise i will never get this vlog finished but i'm sorry it's been such a random vlog i promise you my future vlogs will be me out and about actually doing stuff a bit more structured a bit more interesting but if you stuck around till the end you are a real one i'll see you next tuesday for another video and i love you so much bye